So if you're aware of the file explorer in VS Code, I think it's a nice feature to have. And so when I'm working over on the Vim side of things, I'd like to have something similar. And I found a really good extension to basically mimic the functionality or at least everything I care about. So if I open up Vim here, I have a shortcut here bound to open this up here. And then over on the left here, you can see I have a file explorer, a tree view. I can use enter to open up a directory, enter to open up a file. I can then go back to the tree view over here with a shortcut again, could open up a different directory here. And there actually are a ton of options that work with this. There's a shortcut G and a question mark opens up a pane of all the different contextual actions you can use. For example, if I wanna add a file here, I could go into this directory, hit A, down in the bottom where the command line would normally be at, it's got the full path to the file. I could change the path if I want, or it's in the current selected folder. I could then do something like foo.txt, hit return there, that creates that. I can even use A again. I could create a directory with dir and then one. If I put a forward slash on the end, that indicates it's a directory, you can add that too. So it's got all the typical functionality that you're used to if you use something like VS Code here. And I even have it set up, it has some actions that allow you, if I hide this here, if I'm sitting inside of a file, if I want to open up the tree view and point at this particular file, I've got a keyboard shortcut set up to do that. And that actually just ties back to a command that's provided by the extension. It is the nvim and then tree and then find file or find file toggle. When I run this here, it opens up the tree view and you can see it selects the current file. If I come down here and maybe leave my cursor down here. Now, if I come back over to the other window and if I open this up back again, there you go. You can see I'm once again pointed at the Linux git config file, which is what I have opened up over on the right. And if I find another file that I wanna open up here, I could just use control V. That'll split the pane there, open up a new pane with the new file. So I've got the other file over on the right here, got the new file on the left. Of course, I could change to something else instead. Open this one up. It's asking me where to put that. I double clicked it with the mouse, by the way. Down at the bottom, it said A or B. Of course, I could do this again here. I could open up another file, double click on it. And down at the bottom, you can see A or B. If I want to replace the right side this time, I could do B. Another nice feature is the ability to search for files. So inside of the tree view, if I hit the little F key, I can put in a filter, put in foo, or I could put in Linux and it'll narrow down the options for the files to whatever matches. And if I want here, I think I can expand everything with the capital E, yep. So first off, I'll clear this out with capital F, then capital E here, we'll expand everything. And so now as I'm searching, if I put in something like Lua, I get files that just match Lua. And of course, once you're done performing the filter here, you can just come down below, you can hit return, you can move down and you can arrow through the files. So basically you're saving the state of your filter so you can go look at the items now. You always have this little panel here to help you out with actions. For example, you can see right here, control T will open up a new tab. So escape to get out of this. Control T will open that file in a new tab. So you can see I have the one tab over here and I have a new tab with the other file. Quit out of that though for now. And once I'm done with the filter, capital F will clear it out. And I could collapse everything here with capital W. This is a really nice feature to have, to have a file browser. So for those times when you wanna look maybe next to an existing file to find other related files, this is a great way to do that. It's a nice compliment to even having something like Telescope that allows you to search through your files in a little pop-up. Well, I still think it's really nice to have the tree view as well. And if you'd like to try this extension out, if I come over to my init file here for Vim, just need to specify this mvim-tree org slash mvim-tree.lua repo. This is the repo out on GitHub here. Take a look at the docs here. There's a ton of great information about how to set this up. There's even a section here with recipes for integrations and advanced things you can configure. And then basically once you have included that particular plugin, just require it to set it up then. And then I've set up some key mappings. For example, here's the mapping I set up with control L in normal mode to toggle the find file feature. So control L here, that'll open that up. Control L will close it again, or control shift L works as well. And then I also set up F2 because in iTerm, I map things. Let me show you this here. I'm a big fan of the command shift E. And so in iTerm2, my terminal, Underneath the keys, I set up a key here for shift command E to bind to an escape sequence that's for basically F2. So I could do command shift and E and that'll open that up. If it's not open already, I'll close it real quick though. Command shift and E again, you can see that opens it up. So set up a few key mappings, however you'd like it. 
And then, yeah, take this for a spin and let me know in the comments down below, is something like this helpful? Or is the Tree View Explorer a dumb thing to even have in the first place? And that's why it's in VS Code. Let me know down below.